join us as to make welcome our guest for today. It is time to talk. This is the kind of show. Here comes Kaine. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Wow, it's good to have you. Yeah, Please you. have a seat. Thank you. I like the men are so humble, you know, thank because you. yeah. Because it makes you go far and thank enter you. a lot of places. Yeah, thank you. Now, I saw your video when you were talking about this Yahoo, you know, boy okay. trying to change this thing, this narrative. Yeah. A thief is a thief. Yeah. Sure. Now, Yahoo has been defamed. Mm. The name. Yeah. People don't think the Yahoo is a company. Yeah. When people easily say Yahoo boys. Yeah. You know. Yahoo thing, yeah. And even you have an email now, is Yahoo. You're like, you don't want to even want to have a Yahoo email again. Sure. Now, you, what would you have done if this was your company? <laughs> you know, what thing I when I see all these miscreants, the Femi um, company that people have put a lot of effort, sweat, yeah, fat, even their blood to build over time and people want to defame them i i am sad <laughs> because i can't imagine it being me and uh, in africa whether we like it or not it has affect the way how people perceive the yahoo as a company mm. so i can't imagine it to be me reason why I'm standing against it. Call it what it is. Don't sugarcoat it. Froster is a thief. If I call it Froster, it's too, it's too tush. Too, yeah, too. Let's call them thief. Fine. Thief is a shameful thing. So when you call it thief, they know, yeah, it's shameful. Call when you call now. them Froster, you are trying to embellish it. You are mm. trying to romance it. And no, they are not Froster, they are thief. So. Uh, just my condolence to the Yahoo company because hey, we, we can't help them. <laughs> we wish we can help. So say, stop calling Froster, stop calling Thief, Yahoo boys. But we still try to advocate more because right now they are shifting from Yahoo by calling themselves Elomos boys. So meaning that they're always after people that are successful. Hmm. So is it now, it's not going to be like, oh, a trauma thing that, oh, I don't want to be successful because once I'm successful, people are going to call me this or they are going to come after my company. No. So if we don't attack it now, then the trend will keep on going. Call a spade a spade. If it's a thief, it's a thief. Nobody should embellish it. Nobody should romance it. Don't try to use English to quantify it. Call it what it is for the sanity of our society. Very true. But what would you have done mm. if it was your company? Because say this is Mr. Peter's company, mm. he's your brother. What tips would you give? What would you have done what? to change, Since to bring back the company to his glory? Yeah, what I, I would have done basically is to trace the root of where this is coming from. Because if the foundation be destroyed, we can do nothing. So I have to trace the roots. Which country, which continent is this most spread? then since i have the money i have the influence is to speak to the leaders of that country and make some publications and ensure that that thing is put into the into their law our company is known for this not what your citizens are calling it this is what we are known for so i think the yahoo pr is not doing well too mm. because as a pr one thing is to maintain the integrity and the image of the company so, God forbid, but if it happened to be me, um, this would have been some of the things I would put in place to speak to the country leaders in different categories and ensure that that thing is put into their law. Yeah. And because if they did not, yes, yeah, the consequence, because if they stop with me, they still go to take it off from another person. Yeah. According to you, mm. you know, I was going through your, your words. <laughs> okay. And I like most of your words. Thank According you. to you, a sustainable future mm. isn't guaranteed mm. if we ignore mm. the essential yeah. actions yeah it starts with knowing what to do and taking bold steps to do them yeah 
what are your essential actions? Yeah, <laughs> that's a true, really good true. <laughs> so actually, a sustainable future is a mirage mm -hmm. when the most important thing is be ignore. Mm -hmm. A small beginning is just a prelude to a tremendous crescendo at the finale. Mm -hmm. What that means is, if actionable steps are not taken towards a planned future, there is no planned future because you are ignoring the process of that future to become that future. Hmm. So my actionable step, what we're doing right now is number one, ensuring that we support reforestation because either ways that we're having deforestation and food insecurity, which is causing food insecurity, Food security cause corruption, cause a lot of society menace, and at the end, it's intertwined. You think we're in Abuja or you're in London, it's not affecting, it's affecting in return. It's pari passu. You cut down the tree, you have already made a vacant um, place on that tree, then once the rain fell, mm. it, it causes erosion, yeah. then that flood yeah. uh, caused the farmer to lose their crops, mm. and in return, food insecurity, then there's now price of food increase and at the end poma cannot afford it the poma that cannot afford it is going to steal it mm. so if you trace the route like this then if we continue in that path how are we now guarantee of a sustainable future mm. we are just speaking grammar because there's no action to complement what we say you have many of them having conferences and now they are in hunger mm. after everything they come back what is going to be that word how is it going to be translated into an actionable point that will be seeable by people and feelable by the poor hmm. so just like a believer you pray for a particular thing and you are not taking the necessary action it's not it's not done so i i believe so much that if we do not take actionable step today, forget about a sustainable future. Because the, the earth housed us. Mm. The earth is our landlord. Mm. And if we do not take care of it, if the earth is not sustained, the which future? Where do you want to say the future? How is it to stay? We are going to create life like Dubai. Everything will be artificial. Yeah, so like if you cannot afford it, yeah, you cannot live. Yeah, like, like Dubai. You can never have a second Dubai. Hmm. You can never have a second Dubai. You know, one thing about Nigerians or Africa, it is a copycat mentality. God is too big to fit into one man. It reveals itself in different dimension. For different reasons. And people, For different yeah. reasons, different people. Our problem in Africa is peculiar. You cannot have two Africa. You cannot have two Nigeria. If I'm trying to copy the syllable of Dubai in Nigeria, it's not going to work. Just like taking a pig and putting white cloth on him. Just give me a few seconds, you're going to see him. That white cloth is going to be dead. So, you can't bring Dubai to Nigeria. And you can't take Nigeria to Dubai. Mm. And every country deserves the leader they have today. Every country mm. deserves it. So, Dubai is Dubai. Nigeria is Nigeria. How do we tell our story in a different way? How do we make Nigeria peculiar? That when you go to Dubai, you don't come here to have the same experience. You should have a unique experience that makes you to feel this is Nigeria. Exactly. So that's why I believe in advancing and enhancing our culture and tradition. Because our economy are built around culture and tradition. I won't leave Abuja and go to Dubai and be eating rice or semo or what? If I travel to your country, I want to experience everything about your country. That's to show that I come. I have come to your yeah, country exactly. and I don't come, I don't exactly. go finish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's so yeah. you see that, oh, we're just talking about Dubai, they just have to be like Dubai. See so those people that are saying something like, this, most of them have literally not traveled before. You know, when mm. the purpose of a thing is not no abuse, it's inevitable. Mm. And who no go, no, no. <laughs> who no go, no, no. So we have so much to do and we just have to take it one step at a time for the sustainable future to be realized and actualized. Thank you. We'll Thank take you. a break right now. Catch up on our weekly programs on the Tiny Crowder Show, from Kilo Talk to talk shows and kitchen sessions. 
The streets are not left out as we also engage via our street hangouts and student dialogue. Entertainment at its peak with Music Star and Sports Review with a host of other exciting programs. Tune into our YouTube channel and all the social media channels at the Kind of Crime Show to stay engaged all day long. Welcome back. We've been chatting with Mr. Godwin, an inventor, an innovator. I mean, he's taking over the tech world. You know, when you see some of this tech thing, you expect that they're only going to come from places like, you know, China, you know. But I tell you, Nigeria is blessed. We have a lot of gifted people in this country. So imagine someone that knows so much, yeah. you see, go and import somebody to come and do what he can do better. Yeah. And most of the way they invite these people to come outside the country, they still come to learn yeah. from our own. Yeah, true. And yet they are even more well paid. True. Let's begin to appreciate what we have in this country. Thank it's you. so nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, funding mm -hmm. can make or break a setup yeah. or a startup. Yeah. What challenges did you use to secure uh, financial backing when you started? Okay, I think um, people need to understand that funding is not the first requirement in a business. Um, there are a lot of processes and things to put in place before looking into funding. Our company today have a valuation of over $91 million. We have not had any external fund. We have not. Um, now, how have we been able to come this far? I understand the short-term goal, the medium-term goal, and the long-term goal. If your short-term goal first is to make sure you have a good structure in your organization, if you have a good structure, then you have a good governance structure. The governance structure is meant to regulate your activity. Then your executive structure is meant to lead the daily operation of your, your company's um, operation. Then, when this is settled, meeting with the government requirements in all categories of your business, Funding will look for you. Funders will look for you, then you will have funds. Ah, do we need funds? Yes. But when do you need funds? When you want to scale. Nobody wants to invest in an idea. People want to invest in what is working. Today we have various people reaching out to us for funding. I detect what happened on it. Do you want to sell it? Do I want to give out share? Do I want to push you on investing? Then if I see that your organization is coming up with something interesting, then I can consider vesting of share in a long period of time. So I would want to encourage the entrepreneurs, funding is not the first thing. Do your homework. If you're faithful in little, much shall be given. The funding, will, it's not easy in Nigeria, don't get me wrong. It's not easy in Nigeria. I've had a lot of programs whereby I want to raise funds, 2019 with the CBN and all of that at the end. She might not happen. I stay within my limit, knowing that if I'm faithful in little, much shall be given to me. The faithfulness is not on government. It's not on be religious. Faithfulness is putting my best into what I do to ensure that our customer have the best experience. Have the best experience. So take customer feedback, not as a rebel, but take it as, a, as an opportunity to improve. But in Nigeria, when you're giving a feedback, they say, oh, why are you reporting to the company? No, it is only saving the company to be the best version of themselves. Nobody is perfect and we are working into perfection. If you're perfect, I think we should leave the earth and go to heaven because that's where you qualify perfect people. So as an entrepreneur, the funding aspect, in as much as it's necessary and very, very important, but it's not the first thing. We have not secured any funding. No company has funded us. No individual has funded us. There was a time I approached one for just a millionaire. 
and we have an inflow cumulatively of over 100 million naira in less than six months. But bank are beginning to tell you, oh, you need to do this, uh, give us collateral. Do that. I said, what nonsense is that? You have to do, you have to give me this based on my inflow. So I don't want to mention the bank, yeah. <laughs> but they know yeah. they So the only bank, not bank, a microfinance bank, I think there are no more in Nigeria now, that gave us what is called credit line. Then was a company called Float. They are no more in Nigeria now, owned by Ghana. And the guy said, Godwin, I believe you what you're doing. Mm. He gave us a credit line of 5 million naira. <laughs> and guess what? That's it. Go a long way. You know, credit line, when they gave it to you without collateral. Without nothing. Just say, I believe so much in what you are doing. And he gave us credit line. We never see, I don't even know him. He just gave it on the internet. He just gave us on the credit line. And the credit line, we were able to use it to also support our marketing across nigeria funding is good but i think when you have structures in place the funding will come that time you will begin to do it with swag and pride because the white people will no longer just come and just tell you just look down on you and say okay i will buy 50 million dollars but to you now you know you think that they are doing you good 50 million dollars for something that you can actually make shakara for like 200 million dollars now any technology that is not solving human problem real human problem does not stand the test of time now you need to also make sure that the technology align with the global goal the global goal and also it all depends on the vision of the innovator there are innovators that are always satisfied with cities that are just about less than 70,000 population now my technology less than a year we are bigger than cities by numbers so it depends on what solution you really want to solve who are your audience what are the demographics if you want to say oh it's not everybody that can conquer the world so the better people know this it's not everybody that can conquer the world it is according to your capacity according to your capacity to manage that's why to pray for a blessing is a mirage you don't pray for a blessing you build capacity to accommodate the blessing and the blessing is in the work, the stress that you are avoiding. You stay relevant by ensuring that you are improving on your ideas and, and solution every time. And um, the aspect of competitiveness, I don't believe in it. You're only competitive when you're out of track. Mm. You become competitive when you're out of track. But the economy will tell you that uh, what is your competitive edge. I don't believe on it in my own philosophy because what I'm doing is unique. If I have 2 billion people doing what I'm doing, I'm outstanding on that mm. because I define my audience. If my audience is just 1 million people, I want to make sure that my 1 million people on my platform, they are having the best outstanding experience. I don't care what my Zuckerberg have. I don't care what uh, Big Gate has. It's, it's me. It's me versus me, not me versus Microsoft. So if you get the foundation right, you don't enter into a business with competitive mindsets mm. because except when you enter you enter because people are succeeding on it that is when the desirable is not available then the available become desirable that is a disaster that has sent many people early to the to their grave mm. so as an innovator what really push you that's why you see some innovator today once they have money they begin to crumble the technology begin to die off because actually, it wasn't the passion for the solution, it was the passion for the money. Mm. It was a means for them to escape poverty. So, if this is not clear enough, in the beginning, then there's definitely a problem from the middle and at the top. So, if you get this foundation straight, I tell you the truth, you will be in your own world, create your own world, and the people that you are meant to serve, you are serving them diligently. And you will be satisfied. But well, you Thank know what you. you're saying actually, yeah. what is clear a lot of us today. Yeah. Because you set up a business with the intention like I want to be like Facebook. Yeah. So Facebook now becomes your mirror. Yeah. So Facebook now becomes your everything. So yeah. when Facebook fails, you fail. Yeah. So you're 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 not creating. Yeah. You're not thinking. Yeah. You're just following yeah. the shadow. Yeah. And that's the problem. That's the problem. And once yeah. that is the foundation through which a business is built, the sustainability becomes a problem. Exactly. Because you don't know how Facebook is being sustained.
don't, yeah, they've drained they the don't, partially. They don't have yeah. an idea. They only see the front end, the finish work. Mm. I think the problem of entrepreneurs, if you discover what you really want to do, that is a passion. Like that's a third person. If you're doing something and you you know that even though you are not paid in doing this thing, then you're not going to have problem. Then stay there. Mm. That is where your passion lies. Mm. So meaning that you are not driven by the motivation of money. Exactly. The money will come. God does not give money. The money answers to value. Mm. You can also have value yourself and not get money. And not get money. If you don't know how to monetize the value. The value, exactly. <laughs> that's right to all. Yeah. yeah. So that is yeah. why a lot will be accomplished mm. when no one thinks who get the credit. Oh. Talk is not cheap. Yeah. Some talks are really deep, but you know you need to actually understand. Yeah. And then some things you don't understand, mm -hmm. except you're there. Yeah. Some words people just laugh, but they don't yeah. understand it. Yes. Yeah. Some words are actually deep. True. And then you have to be able to cross a river mm -hmm. to understand yeah. the depth yeah. that and the risk. True. But if you're just off land, mm -hmm. you don't understand. At all. You just see the water. That's why who no go no no. Exactly. <laughs> very true. Very very true. Actually, I learned a lot from you today. Thank you. Yeah, I learned a lot from you because what people do mm. under, no one gets to see. At all. People want to say, I want to be like you. Yeah. And no one wants to start mm. from the bottom. Yeah. Everyone wants to just be like, I want to be like you. Yeah. And saying that, you actually, you look very fashionable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're always dressed you. like that. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. I want to be like you. Mm. I want to do what you're doing. I don't they know don't, They don't that believe that there's a young, from. they don't believe that there are young men who can really make money genuinely. It's terrible. They don't believe it's it. It's terrible. Yeah. And if you're a woman, oh, you're sleeping around. Yeah. And when you're beautiful, oh, you're sleeping around. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing you can tell me. Yeah. Oh, you're sleeping. You know, people don't believe that there's some hard working and then you have to know that there's some hard work you need to do yeah if it means that you have to cut grasses mm -hmm. or sell tomato mm -hmm. do it mm -hmm. that is not your end yeah. you know where you're going to yeah i know of a guy in houston mm -hmm. he was pushing viral mm -hmm. he was helping people on the side mm -hmm. he is a pharmacist mm -hmm. he was trying to go to school mm -hmm. But today, that's not what he's doing. Mm. But he won't, that, that was not the end goal. Yeah. That was for him to achieve something. Mm. So people don't think don't think that you're a slave, yeah. like you said. Yeah. You know, whatever you're doing, do it for a purpose. Yeah. And then it's a learning process for True. you. It is. I've learned a lot from you Thank today. You so it's much. an honor to talk with you. Thank you so much. Very happy. And Thank I know you guys you so have learned. I mean, you know, money is not what you need to start mm. a business. Yeah. If you don't know anything, know that. Yeah. Don't forget to keep subscribing, follow, and share. So you'll come your way again today. I'll be very, very wonderful. Yes, yes. Thank yes. you for thinking. Glad to be here. It's time to talk. Fun.